Hi, I'm Makia Rai. Today I'm in the Konan area of Tokyo's Minato Ward. It's on the eastern side of Shinagawa Station, facing Tokyo Bay, and most of it is on reclaimed land. Primarily a business district, as you can see, there are many office buildings in the area. This time we'll be visiting a museum of a company based here. I've come to a museum of Yamato, Japan's biggest delivery company. And with me is Miki Shiratori, the director of this facility. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Let me show you around. Yamato celebrated the 100th anniversary of its founding in 2019. To commemorate this milestone, they opened the Kuroneko Yamato Museum. I'd like to explain the initial period of our establishment. In 1919, there were only 204 trucks nationwide, and we bought four of them to start a truck transport business. This is a miniature model of one of those, the Ford Model T, which we use to make deliveries. It's a great looking truck. So you started with just four trucks? Have a look at the display over there as well. This is the uniform for our drivers. We made five years after our establishment. It's a reproduction, since none that were used at the time exist anymore. The design was considered very stylish then, and our records show that it attracted a lot of attention from people. It was like an airline pilot's uniform today, and is said to have drawn admiration from passers-by. This is the second period, the age of Yamato parcel deliveries and business diversification. About a decade after its establishment, Yamato started Japan's first regular route delivery business. And during the rapid economic growth period, their trucking business grew explosively. You can see that we have stairs and slopes in this facility. And the reason is actually because we have our parcel delivery sales office on the first to fifth floors of this building. And we have slopes circling the entire building. The displays are set up in the spaces between those slopes. And there are actually slopes above and below for vehicles to pass through. That's interesting. Let me now explain to you about our cat logo. I know the black cat and kitten are synonymous with Yamato now. As we diversified our business, we partnered with Allied Van Lines of the U.S. And the cat mark was the mascot mark used by that company. Cats carry their young by the neck very gently and carefully. And so the meaning is your parcels will also be carried in the same gentle and careful way. We asked the company if we could also use this mark in Japan, and they agreed. And over there, we have a display that shows the design process of the cat mark. Have you ever seen this picture anywhere? It's my first time! The cat mark was actually designed by an employee of ours in charge of PR who was told by the president to design something, and he apparently spent some time thinking about it. As he was racking his brains, he saw his daughter drawing a cat, and that's this picture. Using this as a hint, the design that was created was this cat mark. It was born in 1957, so that was 65 years ago. In 1970, Yamato began home parcel deliveries. At the time, many employees objected to the business, but because of it, sales, which had been on a downtrend, recovered, allowing the company to grow to this day.
Today we brought you the show from the Kuroneko Yamato Museum. Hope you enjoyed it.